This is American Family News. I'm Steve Jordahl. Spain's coronavirus deaths jumped by a record number Tuesday as the country's medical system strained to care for its tens of thousands of infected patients and the world total climbed to more than 800,000 cases. In the U.S., where the spread of the coronavirus has been accelerating, New York's governor begged for health care reinforcements saying up to one million more workers are needed. Spain and Italy are struggling to avoid the collapse of their health care systems. In Spain, where hospitals in at least half of its 17 regions are at or very near their ICU bed limit, and more than 13,000 medical workers are among the country's reported 94,000-plus infections. A federal appeals court has upheld Texas's order to halt unnecessary medical procedures, including abortions. Here's Fox's Jeff Manasso. The Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals reverses an order by a federal judge who Monday allowed abortion providers to continue performing elective abortions after Governor Greg Abbott temporarily halted non-essential or elective surgeries and procedures. Planned Parenthood sued Texas as well as other states for similar orders, calling abortions essential surgeries. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton saying abortion providers who refuse state law are demonstrating a clear disregard guard for Texans suffering from the coronavirus crisis. Jeff Manasso, Fox News. President Trump's new chief of staff has left a new vacancy in the House of Representatives. Here's Fox's Jared Halpern with more. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi presided over the House chamber for a brief pro forma session, the first session since North Carolina Republican Mark Meadows officially resigned from Congress. In light of the resignation of the gentleman from North Carolina, Mr. Meadows, the whole number of the House is 429. Meadows' first full day as White House Chief of Staff is today, though he's been serving the president in an unofficial capacity for a few weeks and took part in negotiations last week over a $2.2 trillion economic rescue bill. A Republican primary runoff election is set for June. Jared Alpern, Fox News. The Department of Homeland Security has included firearms manufacturers, distribution and retail, and gun ranges as essential critical services. Here's AFN's Chris Woodward. The National Shooting Sports Foundation, the trade association for the firearm and ammunition industry, is grateful for the inclusion of the industry during the COVID-19 pandemic. NSSF's Mark Oliva. We had worked with the White House and with the Department of Homeland Security since March 20th to get firearms businesses listed among those. That includes manufacturers, your retailers, your distributors, and your ranges. Uh, and, and the reason is simple. I mean, it's, uh, we, uh, we need to be able to uh, provide uh, those individuals who choose to exercise their uh, Second Amendment rights to be able to protect themselves in times of uncertainty like this with the ability to purchase the firearms that they choose. Once a person's ability to exercise his or her rights to lawfully obtain a firearm through the legal process is denied, then Oliva says we have a breakdown in the security and the safety of our society. We recommend to everyone who's gone out and bought new firearms, and from what we're hearing is, is upwards of 80 to 90 percent of these buyers uh, could be brand new gun owners. Uh, that they, uh, you know, explore their safe storage options, understand how to use the locks that come with those guns to keep them uh, you know, away from, uh, from those people who should never have them, including small children, uh, and to, uh, if they can, get to a range, learn how to use that firearm safely, uh, learn how to engage the safety mechanisms, and, uh, and make sure that you understand Uh, the responsibilities that come with firearms ownership. I'm Chris Woodward. And finally, a California woman was sentenced Tuesday to seven months in prison for paying bribes to rig her two daughters' college admission exams and get one of them into Georgetown University as a fake tennis recruit. The judge has delayed the sentence until June, hoping the coronavirus pandemic has passed. Elizabeth Henriquez and her husband were charged with paying $400,000 in bribes to get their oldest daughter into Georgetown. They also paid bribes to have someone cheat on their daughter's college entrance exams. For American Family News, I'm Steve Chortle.
listening to, I say you are listening to, you are absolutely listening to, The George Eskrim Love Show, coming to you live from the Funny Farm. Now with no further ado, here comes Georgie! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you. It is good. <laughs> yeah, you got to get that last little whoop whoop in there. Uh, it is good to be on the air one more time tonight. Goodness gracious. Here it is Tuesday. It is the last day of March. <clears throat> Tomorrow, we begin a brand new month. And I'm delighted to have you with me. I was trying to look at something and talk at the same time, and I just I, I just can't do it. Uh, I, I get lost. Something, something happens to me. But I'm delighted <clears throat> that you have decided to listen to the George Espinlove Show this evening. And whether you're down the street, around the corner, across America, or somewhere around this great big world, thank you. Thank you for taking the time. What are you doing during this crisis that we are facing? What are some of the things that you are exploring? What are some of the things that you're doing differently now than you did before? Are you taking time to read more? Are you taking time to write? Are you taking time to explore more things on the Internet? I asked you that question the other night, <clears throat> and I challenged, you, I challenged you to email me and let me know what some of the things are that you're doing differently now that perhaps you didn't have time to do before. So just email me, georgece at comcast.net, georgece at comcast.net, and I will be so grateful if you do, and I promise to answer each and every one of you. We are uh, endeavoring to get things uh, stepped up around here. We're making great progress, and I thank you for your support. I need to remind you real quick uh, before we get into this, <clears throat> tomorrow morning, 930, that's tomorrow morning, Wednesday morning, April 1st, 9.30 a.m. Eastern <clears throat> Daylight Time. We will have a live stream show, and on that show we will have a young lady by the name of Sheik Lacey out of Columbus, Ohio. This young lady has an incredible story. She has written a book, and not only has she written a book about this incredible story, she is going to start a publishing company, or she already has started a publishing company. So we will have with us tomorrow morning Sheik Lacey out of Columbus, Ohio, a young lady that is hammering away and reaching out and in the process of completing her dream of what she wants to accomplish in this life. So tomorrow morning at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, we'll have Sheik Lacey with us on a live stream show. We'll be live streaming into the George Espinlob Show on Facebook, and we'll be live streaming into George Espinlob Channel on YouTube. So Mark that down, and we'll put something up on the post so that everybody can be reminded. So I wanted to pass that on to you, lest I forget. Tonight, we're going to take you into the audio portion of a live stream show that we did a couple weeks ago with a man by the name of Steve Snyder out of California. Steve Snyder has written a book entitled Shot Down. I listened to the audio portion of the book fantastic 
had me on the edge of my seat the whole time. He has written that book shot down in honor of his father and the crew members of the B-17 that they flew on a mission during the Second World War. Several of them was killed uh, when the initial battle took place in the air. The other ones bailed out. I think three of them was uh, captured. And three of them was murdered along with some other prisoners. Some spent some time in POW camps. Uh, Steve's father, Howard, was able to uh, be taken care of by the resistance of the Belgians and the French resistance. He eventually made it back to England. He fought with the resistance, and it's an incredible story. The very first part of the audio... <coughs> Maybe somewhat low. Uh, there might even be a couple of distorted spots in there, but then it gets better. So we wanted to bring you this tonight. It's intriguing. You can get the book. Just go to Amazon.com and type in there, shot down, and it'll come up. You can get it, I think, in Kindle form, uh, paperback, and the audio version. It is a fantastic read. Unfortunately, they don't teach this in schools anymore. Many people have forgotten. Many have passed away since uh, the end of the Second World War. And it needs to be told. The story needs to be told. He not only pays tribute to the crew members of the B-17 bomber that his father was the pilot of, he pays tribute to to other men that fought during the Second World War. And you can go to his webpage. If you want to see the live portion that we did, just go to the George Espinlob Show on Facebook, the George Espinlob Show on Facebook, and there you will find all the videos that we have done uh, thus far. Shot down with Steve Snyder. So sit back and listen, because it is an intriguing story. All right, All right ladies, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen boys, boys and girls, girls friends, 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 Romans, and countrymen, let me both, both of your ears. ears. This, this afternoon, here, here on, on the East Coast, Coast high, high noon, noon on the West Coast, Coast where Steve, Steve is at, at we, we have, have an exciting, exciting thrilling, thrilling I believe, I believe that it'll, it'll keep, keep you right, right on, on the edge, edge of your seat. seat. Maybe, Maybe even get you, get you out, out of your seat. seat. You'll stand up and listen to it because, because it, it, is, it, is it is exciting. exciting. And Steve, Steve what, what, what we, we do first, first is we have, we have a fellow here, here at the, at the funny farm, farm that, that he earns his keep. His keep. If, if I, I can find him, him I might have lost him here. Oh, no, there he is. If, if I can, I can find, find him, he earns his keep here at the Funny Farm. farm. We've, We've had, had him on for about uh, eight, eight weeks, weeks now, now, I guess. This, this is, is how, how he earns, earns his keep. keep. So, so ladies, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, girls friends, friends, Romans, Romans and countrymen, here, here is the dude. dude. Thirty seconds, seconds every, every live, live show, show Steve. Steve. I like, I like, I like the dude. Yeah, yeah, but he he he, he, uh, he, earns he earns his keep, keep by, by doing, doing that. that here, here at Funny, funny Farm. So, so, all right, right ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen whether, whether you're, you're down, down the street, street around, around the corner, corner across America, America, or somewhere, somewhere around, around this great, great big world, thank, thank you, you for taking the time to tune in this afternoon to the George Espinlove Show and our guest, Mr. Steve Snyder. 
Steve, Steve you're, you're way, way out, out there on, on the west coast, coast. I'm way, way over, over here hugging, hugging the water, water at the, on, on the east coast. coast. Uh, yeah. and it's, and it's a delight, delight to have, have you, my friend. friend. Well, thank, well, thank, thank, thank you. you. Glad, glad, glad to be here. here. This, this book, book this, this journey, journey that we're going to go, go on here, here is, is intriguing. intriguing. I think I, think I, told, I told you on the, on the telephone that I'm a real history buff. Unfortunately, they don't, they don't teach, teach these, these things, things anymore, or for, for the, the most, most part, part, in our, in our public, public schools, schools across, across the nation. nation. And it'll, and it'll be, be, what, 75, 75 years in May, May since, since the end, end of the war, the war in Europe. Europe. Uh, and, and there, there are, are so, so many, many people, people out there that, that doesn't, doesn't know of, or a lot, a lot of people have forgotten, forgotten which is sad. sad. But, but I, I appreciate, appreciate you, you in that, that you're keeping, keeping this, this thing, thing alive. alive. Not, not only, only, not not only this, this about your father, father and his, his mission and his, his crew, crew, but, but on, on your, your website, website you, have you have other things, things pertaining, pertaining to the Second, Second World, World War about, about other, other people, people that, that were involved, involved in it. it. And, I and I think you're to be commended for that, sir. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about Steve Schneider before we go much further. Off of their employees. And I, and I retired, retired from, from there, there in 2009. 2009. And, and, uh, and uh, that's, that's when, when I had the time to really delve into my history in more detail. detail. Uh, so, coming, coming up, up I, I knew, knew the basics, the basics of my dad's World War II history. War II history. Uh, I, knew I knew he was a B-17 pilot, pilot who was, who was uh, stationed, stationed in England with the 8th Air Force. Uh, his plane was, was named the Sioux Group after my mother's sister, who was one year old at the time of the I flew, I flew bombing, bombing missions, missions that occupied, occupied Europe, Europe in February, February 1944. One shot, shot down, down to Belgium. Belgium. It was missing, missing in action, action for seven, seven months, months, but, but it was later captured and eventually made it back to England. England. And, and uh, uh, my, my parents, parents left, left a lot of material about uh, World War II uh, during the war years, years, and, and I, I just wanted, wanted to go through, through all that, that information. And organize, and organize it, and, and uh, learn, learn more about, about it. it. And there were, and there two, were two items that were really, really significant. One, one was, was a diary that my dad, dad wrote uh, while he was missing in action about his plane being shot, shot down. down. And the, and the other, other was all the letters, letters, letters that my dad, dad had written to my mother uh, while he was stationed, stationed in England. England. And really, and really those, those uh, items were just, uh, uh, just fascinating. Uh, the diary that my dad wrote just riveting, and the letters were Really, really interesting, interesting because my dad, dad was very candid, candid when he wrote out letters. letters. He wrote about, about uh, combat, combat missions. He wrote about, about what life was like, like uh, on the air base, what life, 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 life in England, London, London at the time. time. Escapades, Escapades, him and his crew. And the story, the story my, my dad, dad and his crew just became, became my passion. And, and uh, I started uh, doing all this research, research about it. I started reading book after book about the air war in Europe. I went, I went on, on the internet, internet and spent countless, countless hours doing research, research downloading classified, classified military, military documents. documents. Um, um, I went on a quest, quest to find relatives, relatives of uh, all of the members, members of the crew to ask them if they, they could provide me with any, any information, information, letters, letters uh, articles, articles, pictures, pictures what, what have you. I joined, I joined a number of World War II organizations, started going, going to Reunions, unions, listening to veterans, veterans tell their stories. And, and finally, finally uh, three, three years, years into my research, research I, just I just came, came to the conclusion that the story, story my dad had and his crew was so unique and so, unique so compelling, compelling that it, it needed, needed to be told. People, people needed uh, to, know to know about it, so I decided to write a book. book. And, and uh, <laughs> after, after doing, doing so, it's totally changed my life. life. From a retiree now, now uh, basically a full-time job. Let me, let, me, let, me let me put, put this, this up here, here <coughs> so, so folks, folks can see this. this. That, that is, is the 10-man ten ten crew, crew counting, counting your father. Of that, that B-17 that was shot, shot down, down February, February 8, 1944. Now, now ladies, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, I did a pre-show pre video this morning, this morning and in, in it, it, I played, played a portion, portion of the, of the audio, audio Book, book that Steve, Steve had sent, sent me, me. and it, it started, started out, out with, with when, when his, his father's ship was, was hit, hit. And, and things, things were kind of blowing up, up 
around, around him, him and, and the crew. crew. And, and I, I, I listened, I listened to, it, to it. I left, I left it play, play until, until, uh, until they, they bailed, bailed out. out. And then, and then I, I cut, cut it, off. it off. And I did, and I did that, that for a reason, reason because, because this, this is the book. book. The true, true story, story of Powell, how it, how it Howard Schneider and the crew of the, of the B-17 Susan, Susan Ruth. Because, because I, I want you to get, get interested in, in the book. Steve, Steve there's over, over 200, 200 pictures, pictures, I believe, in this, this book. book. Is, that is that right? right? That, is that is correct. correct. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, so the reader, reader can just visualize, visualize everything, everything that they're reading, reading about. about. They have, they have pictures, pictures of all, all the people that are involved uh, in the story and, and uh, the location where all the events took place. Took place. This, this is, is where, where you can, can get, get it. it. We'll run, run through, through this. this. Right, right there. there. Shot, shot down, down at Amazon.com. Amazon. Just shot, shot down. down. You go, you go to Amazon. Amazon. Put in a little search, search box, box shot, shot down, down, and it'll, and it'll pop, pop up. up. I'll, I'll guarantee, guarantee you. This, this is Steve's, Steve's website, website. stevesnyderauthor.com. And I'm going to bring, bring that whole website, website up here in just, just a minute on screen, screen. <clears> as, as we, we go, go through this. this. Uh, it's, it's an intriguing, intriguing website. website. I mean, I mean it'll, it'll keep you sitting there going, going through, through the different pages. pages uh, for, for quite, quite a long, long time. time. I, 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 I was in there, there for a couple, couple hours, hours this morning. morning. And I, I, I still, still, still did, did get through, through, it, through, through it, all. it all. When, when your, your father, father <clears throat> he went, he went, he went, he went in, in, he listened in the, in the army, army, and, and then he, he ended, he ended up, up in the Air Corps, Corps because there's more opportunity to make, make some more money. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. As a, As a result, result of the, of the first peacetime draft, draft in history, history, and then by President Franklin Roosevelt, Roosevelt Fall of 1940, my dad, my dad uh, enlisted, uh, enlisted uh, in April, April 1941, and, and they, when, when the, the army, army went into the infantry, like, like they said, they were stationed at Fort Lewis, Washington. Washington. And, and uh, three, three months, months later, later, in July, he married, married my mother, mother Ruth Hempel. And then a few months later, on December 7, 1941, they... Uh, uh, living in me, Pearl Harbor was bombed, bombed by Japan, and the United States, States was war. war. Well, my, well, my mom, mom was very, very uh, worried, worried at that time. The future was very uncertain. uncertain. So that, that Christmas, Christmas in December, December, she went up to visit, visit my dad, dad uh, in Washington, and nine, nine months, months later, later, Susan, Susan Ruth was born, born their, their first, first child. child. Uh, my, dad my dad was concerned at the time how he was going to be able to support his family. He didn't think he could do it very well on the private day in the Army. So he decided to... Volunteer, volunteer for the, for the, the Air, Air Force, Force and uh, went, went into the Air, Air Force, Force uh, in, in June, June of 1942. Uh, initially in flight, flight training, training went, went through, through the various stages, stages of, of pilot, pilot training. training. And, uh, that, that was... was <clears throat> and they, they had, had different, 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 different phases, phases of, 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 of training. training. And, and, did I hear, hear correctly that 40% of them washed, washed out, out uh, by, the by the time they, they got, got to the end? end or, or, it, it, was it was a high percentage, percentage of people, people that uh, didn't, didn't qualify, qualify all the way, way through, through the training. training. Oh, yes, oh, yes definitely. definitely. You're right. It was 40% of the guys who started pilot training, pilot training uh, didn't, didn't make, make it through because uh, it was demanding both physically and mentally. They had to take all these courses and uh, uh, aeronautics and, and physics, physics and, and meteorology, meteorology and, and so, so it was, uh, you know, like, like a college, college curriculum to, uh, to, to become, become a pilot. pilot. It's, it's just not all about, you know, how, how you fly, fly the plane, plane but, but that, that washed, washed guys, guys out, out too. Um, as, as you said, said there were various, various stages, stages, there were three main, main stages. stages. Uh, one, uh, one was primary, primary training, training, which my dad, dad took in Santa Maria, California, and then made it to that, and went in basic pilot training. My dad, my dad did, did in more California, Miranda, Arizona. Arizona. And then, and then after, after basic, they separated the pilots, pilots out. They, they went, either went into single-engine planes, planes, fighters, or into uh, twin-engine twin engine planes, planes, which eventually uh, led, led to either transports or bombers. bombers. Typically, Typically, the shorter pilots, pilots went into, into uh, uh, single-engine single planes, planes or the fighters because of the small, small combined, combined uh, uh, 
the, the my mind the, 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 the cockpit, cockpit in those fighter, fighter planes. planes. But, also, but also, I think, I think it was based, based on personality. personality. It seems, it seems to me, to me that the fighter, fighter pilots, pilots tended, tended to be pretty, pretty cocky, have big, big egos, who independent risk takers, takers whereas the bomber, bomber pilots, pilots tended, tended to be a little, little, little more level-headed level team players. My, my dad was six foot three, three. Uh, so, so he, he was a tall, tall guy. guy. He was, played, played a lot, a lot of, of basketball. He played, he played center, center back, back then. then. You know, you could be a center, center six, six foot three. So he went into advanced pilot training. He went into twin engine planes. And then when he had... Graduated, graduated from, from advanced pilot, pilot training, training in Douglas, Arizona, Arizona in 1943. Uh, uh, he received, received his commission, commission as a second, second lieutenant. He received his pilot's wings. wings. And from there, there he went into transitional, transitional training, training where uh, he learned how to, how to fly, fly a four-engine B-17 bomber. bomber. And after, after he uh, went, through went through transitional training, he went into operational, operational crew training, training down in Dalhart, Texas, Texas, where the where various members, members of the crew came together. together. As, as you mentioned, mentioned they were... Uh, B-17 and 10 man crew. crew. And there, and there the, the uh, various, various members, members were not out of work with the team, team. But once, once they were deemed ready, ready, they were signed uh, overseas, overseas to the European Theater of Operations and reported, reported to the 306 Bomb, bomb Group uh, of the 8th Air, Air Force uh, based, based at Thurlai, England, England on October 21st, 1943. How many, How many missions, missions did, did your father, father fly, fly prior, prior to? to? Being, being shot, shot down, down on February, February 8, 1944. Uh, when he flew, he flew his, his first mission on November, November 3rd, 1943, mission Will Wilhelm Sobben. It was the it was first time, time that the 8th Air Force put up, put up over 500 bombers, bombers on a mission. And, and then he, he was shot, shot down, as you mentioned, on February 8th, 1944. He was shot down on his 8th mission. mission. At that time, time uh, the 8th Air, Air Force had, had a mission limit, limit of 25, if you made it through 25 missions, uh, uh, you could go back, back home. Uh, although, although <laughs> it was so dangerous, dangerous to fly missions, missions at that time, time. it was uh, statistically impossible to complete uh, 25, 25 missions. The average, the average number of missions flown in 1943 between being shot, shot down was only, only uh, six. six. Uh, it, was uh, it was extremely, extremely dangerous, dangerous being a uh, uh, combat crewman with the Air Force. Force. So, so he, he ended, ended up being shot, shot down, down uh, on February 8th the mission to Frankfurt. Frankfurt. Were they, were they on, on their way, way back from the bombing, bombing raid, raid, or were they, were they on, on their way, way too? To? Uh, actually, uh, they, they had dropped, dropped their, bombs their bombs successfully, but their bomb bay doors got hit by flak, and they couldn't, they couldn't get them back, back up. And as, and as a result, that caused a drag in the plane. They lost airspeed. They started lagging behind B-17 formation that was heading, heading back, back in England uh, to return, return to their bases. And, and they were they singled out by two uh, German, German Focke-Wolf fighter, fighter planes, planes like, like wolves or lions, lions coming down, down on prey. prey. They, they uh, swooped, swooped in for, in for the, the attack in the ensuing air battle. battle. Uh, and Susan, Susan Roof, Roof was shot, shot down. down. Two, two of the crew, crew members, members were killed, killed in the plane when it was attacked. The other eight were bailed out successfully. But both, both those German, German Focke-Wolf fighters, fighters, fighters were shot down, down uh, as, well, as well at the same, same time. Uh, one, one was piloted by Siegfried Merrick, and his plane crashed, crashed in Belgium, Belgium, and he was killed. killed. The other, the other plane, plane was piloted by, by Hans, Hans Berger. Berger. He was, he was able to bail, bail out, and he made, made it through, through the war. You, you, you interviewed, interviewed that, that German, German pilot, pilot that, that was, was part, part of the game that, that, that shot your father's, father's aircraft, aircraft down. down. What, what was it like, like, Steve? Steve? Well, it gives me chills, chills just, just mentioning, mentioning it. it. Actually, uh, I owe it all to my wife, wife that I found, uh, Hans, Hans Berger. Berger. Uh, all, all my dad, dad knew in all the uh, Air Forces Force at the time is that they were shot down, down by two Focke-Wolf uh, human fighters. Human fighters. And that's, that's, I thought, I thought that's, that's all I'd ever know. But one, one day, day when I was doing, doing my research, research and that, that, that was four and a half years from the time I decided to write the book, the time it was published, well, one, day one day, my, my wife, wife casually, casually asked me, why don't, why don't you try, try to find the German, German fighter, fighter that shot down your dad's plane? plane. Like, like, it was easy, easy, like, like going to the supermarket, market, buying a, a carton of milk, milk or something, carton of eggs. eggs. And, I and I thought, thought this is a crazy, crazy idea, idea at the time. time. You know, she's, she's naive. naive. She, she doesn't know what she's talking about. Like a good husband, I did what she told me to do. And I went on the internet, or Google, trying to find a Luftwaffe pilot. A couple forms came up, I joined. Uh, I, I post inquiries, inquiries on those uh, forms. forms. 
about, about uh, trying, trying to find, to find, find a loophole pilot, pilot because, because I knew the day he shot, shot down, down, the time of day, day, the location. And in, in a week, week two, guys two guys got, got back to me, one from Belgium, Belgium one, one from England. England. And on, and that, on that day, day there, there were 12 B-17 shot, shot down, down. And one, one shot, shot down, down south, south of Shea, Belgium. Just, just north, north of the French border, border. shot, shot down, down by Hans Berger. Berger. And, and I, I learned that, that the gunners, gunners on my dad's plane actually, actually shot him down, down at the same, same time. time. And, and fortunately for me, Hans became, Hans became a translator, translator after the war, so, so he speaks perfect, perfect English. English. <laughs> and, 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 uh... So, so I, I, I was so excited, excited for the book, book. I, just I just interviewed, interviewed him over, over the telephone, telephone and through email. email. Uh, and he, he gave, gave me some wonderful, wonderful insights, insights into the book about what it was like, like to go up into the 8th Air Force. Force. Uh, since, since I wrote the book, book I've met Hans, Hans uh, a couple, couple times. times. He lives in uh, uh, Munich, Munich, Germany. Germany. Uh, the last, last time I visited him was uh, in September, September last, last year, 2019. He turned 96 in October. Mm-hmm. And then we've, we've developed, developed uh, a, a real, real good, good friendship. friendship. It, was it was just so incredibly exciting to find Hans and, and to talk, talk to him about that day, day and, and his, his experiences. Did he have, have a, a, a vivid, vivid memory, memory of, of that, that day, day, that, that particular, particular plane? plane? Um, not, not really. really. Um, he, remembers he remembers the day. day. He remembers the uh, Attacking, attacking my, my dad's, dad's plane, plane. Of course, he didn't know what B-17 was. was. And, and, uh, he certainly he remembers, remembers being shot, shot down, down and having to bail out. out. But that's, that's really all, all the, he remembers. Belgium was occupied, occupied by, by uh, Nazis, Nazis at the time. time. So, so after, after he bailed, bailed out, out a, uh, uh, some, some German, German soldiers, soldiers you know, came, came and uh, found, found him in the field and took him back into town and took the train back to his base in Germany and continued flying. Actually, uh, Hans, Hans was shot, shot down, down three, three times during, during the war. Almost, almost all, all his friends, friends were killed. killed. Uh, he, was he was very fortunate, fortunate uh, to, make to make it through. through. So, so that's, that's really uh, pretty, pretty much, much all he remembers about, about that, 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 that particular day. day. But, uh, uh, he said that's, that's pretty, pretty incredible, incredible that, that uh, you know, when, when we talk, talk and when we get, get together, together here, here, you know, you know he's become, become friends, friends with the son of a pilot that he shot down. Uh, he, he in turn, turn was shot, shot down, down by the gunner from his dad's dad. Wow. Were your when your dad, dad bailed out, out <clears throat> one, of one of the first, first concerns was, was that, that, that he, he would clear, clear them Bombay, Bombay doors. doors. And then, and then as, as he, he was flipping, flipping and flopping, flopping uh, going, going through air with lack of oxygen, et cetera, et cetera, finally got himself... Uh, got, got his arms, arms out, out there, there where he could stop, stop all, all that spinning, spinning and flipping, flipping stuff. stuff. And, and his, 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 his chute, chute open. Uh, he ended, ended up coming, coming down, down in some trees. trees. And he, and he, he, he was, was uh, uh, since he was, he was the last, last fellow out, out he, he, he was, was further, further, I don't want to say, say downrange, down well, I, well, I guess, guess he was downrange. Down he, he was further away from, from the other eight men that bailed out, wasn't he? Correct. Correct. Uh, actually, actually, my, my dad, dad and the plane came, came down, down in Belgium, Belgium. And, the and the other guys that were able, able to bail out came down, down in France. France. So, so we, we were right, right at the French-Belgian border. border. And after, and after my, my, as, as you said, said my dad, dad uh, came, came down, down in some in trees. trees. Uh, this was February. February. So there was snow, snow on the ground. It was cold. And his parachute got hung up in these trees and couldn't get down. He dangling 20 feet off the ground. Fortunately for him, him a couple uh, young, young old men, men came, to came to his rescue. Uh, they, uh, they went back to a farmhouse, got a ladder, ladder and a rope, rope and, and uh, came, came back, back and helped him down, down the, the tree. tree. And there's, there's a picture, picture of that tree and these guys, guys in, in the book. book. Uh, picture that was sent to him after the war. war. Uh, uh, this occurred in the early afternoon. afternoon. Uh, they, they thought it was too dangerous to try to move, move them in daylight because there were German patrols in the area. Trying, trying to look, to look for these guys to bail out. out. So they told them to stay put and hide until uh, night time. time. And they'd come, come back and get them. Uh, which, uh, which they, they did, did, and they took them uh, to the farmhouse. farmhouse. But the gentleman's, gentleman's name, name that uh, came, came to his rescue was Henri Franken and Ramon Van. And he took them back to the Van farmhouse, which was just right at the French-Belgian border. He had some grapple wounds in one of his legs, they, were, they weren't, weren't too, too bad, bad but they, they uh, kind of bandaged him up there, there and stayed, stayed there one, one night. night. 
Yeah, but, yeah, but they, 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 they thought, thought it was, it was too, too dangerous, dangerous for him to stay, stay there any longer than that, than that uh, with German patrols patrol patrol in their area. area. So, the so the next, next night, a Belgian, Belgian customs, customs officer called, called to Ken, 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 Ken bicycle, bicycle to, to move, move him to another location. And after, after that, that uh, he, he was moved from place to place to place. How often he calmly stayed in any given place, depending on how brave the people were, lived there, and how brave how, how dangerous, dangerous the Belgian, Belgian underground, underground thought it was to stay there. They might stay one, one night in one house, house or six, six weeks at uh, another house. Other house. Uh, uh, kind, kind of an interesting, interesting uh, incident, incident that, that occurred, occurred after Paul uh, came and got him on a tandem bicycle. And there's, and there's lots, lots of little stories about this, about this in the book. book is is that, uh, the, uh, uh, he went, went back, back to Paul's uh, house, which was also the Cobden's office, and they put one of Paul's... Customs, customs officers, officers uniforms, uniforms on my dad, dad to kind of, kind of disguise, disguise him so he got out of his, uh, his airman's, airman's uh, 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 combat, combat uniform. uniform. And, and, and uh, Paul's, Paul's wife, wife was laughing at my dad, dad because Paul was, was relatively, relatively short, short in the pants, pants that, that my dad, dad put on, you know, were, you know, high water, water pants. pants uh, but, but they started, started out at night to go into another town, a larger town, Shishay. My dad came down in the village of Macamilas. And it, and it was pitch, pitch black, black and it was raining. raining and, uh, uh, they started, started pedaling, pedaling, and they came to this, this hill. hill. And, and uh, when, when the, the shrapnel, shrapnel uh, wounds, wounds in my uh, dad's, dad's leg, leg, he could only pedal, pedal with one good leg, leg and they weren't strong, strong enough to pedal, pedal up hills. Hill, so they got on a bike, bike and started, started pushing, pushing it up the hill. hill. And when, when we got, got to the top of the hill, hill there was this little cafe, cabaret there, and the lights were on, music was playing, people were laughing. All of a sudden, two German officers. Uh, come, come walking, walking out, out with their arms around, around these young, young girls. girls. And, and one, one of them comes up to my dad, dad and asks him to light, light a cigarette. cigarette. Mm. Mm. My, my dad's, dad's petrified. petrified. He, he can't speak German or uh, French, French at this time. time. Fortunately, Paul could put the guy's cigarette. cigarette. And, and the Germans, Germans let him let go in their, their way. way. My, my dad, dad said they were too drunk, drunk and too interested in these young girls to pay too much attention to these two guys pushing a bike up in the middle of the night in the rain. So, so that, that was uh, one, one of his narrow, narrow escapes, escapes why he was uh, being hidden, hidden from the Germans. So, so two, two men were killed <coughs> in the, the aircraft, aircraft when they, they were attacked, attacked by, by the German, German fighters. Eight, Eight men, men bailed, bailed out. out. <coughs> Your, dad Your dad came, came down, down alone. alone. What, what about, about the, the other, other fellows? fellows? Yeah, yeah, my, my dad, dad uh, had, had no, no idea, idea what happened, happened to any, any of the other, other members of the crew. crew. Um, and a B-17, the, the, the bomb bay, bay kind of separates five, five of the crew from the, the back, back five, five, mainly gunners. gunners. So, so he, he knew that the, the, uh, 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 the guys, guys in, front in front of the plane, plane were all safe and bailed out. out. But since, since they, they came, came down, down in France, France he, had he had no idea what happened to them. And he didn't, he didn't know, know what happened to the guys, guys in the back. back. He, he didn't know that two of them had been killed, killed in fact. And he, and he was, was separated, separated from my father. father. My father, father never knew what happened to any of them until he got back, back to, to England, England uh, seven, seven months, months later. later. But and something, something had different, different really happened, happened to each one, one of those guys, guys who bailed out. out. Uh, and and uh, uh, the book is just not about my dad. It's about what happened to each member of the crew and about all the Belgian people risked their lives trying to to help, to help them. them. Uh, three, three of the crew, crew were picked, picked up uh, almost, almost immediately and became, became prisoners, prisoners of war. Uh, uh, two, two of them were so uh, badly, badly injured that, that uh, they, they were, were eventually, eventually repatriated uh, because of the seriousness of the wound back, back to the United, United States, States before the war ended. ended. Uh, Joe, Joe Musial, who was a waste, waste gunner, gunner and uh, Richard Daniels, Daniels, who's a bomb bomb here. here. And then, and then Roy, Roy Holbert, who was a flight, flight engineer and a top turret, turret gunner, gunner who spent the Union Union War uh, uh, as a POW. And, and he, he had, had some heroin experience. He was, he was involved in the Black, 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 Black March, March from Stalag 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 which is an amazing story, story in, it, in itself, itself which is in the book. book. And then and three, three other of the crew. Uh, they, uh, they were hidden, hidden by, by various people, people for a while, and, and uh, then, then eventually uh, they met, met up with five other down U.S. airmen and three other B-17s, 
have been shot, shot down. down. Uh, and they, they were helped, helped by Belgian, Belgian people. people. They, they built, built a hut, hut in, in the woods, woods uh, near, near Chimay, Chimay they hide in there until they, they could uh, try, to try to get out. out. Uh, normally, normally, when uh, uh, the underground, underground in any country, country came, came across a down down airman, airman, where the English, English U.S., they tried, tried to, get to get them back, back in England, England through various, various escape, escape routes, routes uh, down, down through, 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 through France, France or the, the Pyrenees, Pyrenees into, into Spain, Spain, and then out, out through British-controlled Gibraltar at the tip of the Mediterranean. Mediterranean. Um, um, so, so they were, they were these ten, ten men hiding, hiding in, uh, in woods, woods were waiting, waiting for that. that. Uh, uh, two, two of the men, men they, got they got tired of hiding. They, they took off on their own. They were members of Dad's crew. Uh, but uh, they, they did, did make it back, back in England. England. But, but uh, uh, before, before the other, other the remaining eight, eight uh, three, three of my dad's, dad's crew, uh, to get, get into the escape, escape routes, routes uh, a Belgian, Belgian collaborator, collaborator ratted, ratted them out to the Germans, Germans and uh, the contingent of German, German soldiers came down, down surrounded, surrounded the, the hut, hut, captured the uh, uh, men, and took, took them back, back into Chimay, uh, little, little schoolhouse, just a little bit away. Interrogated, interrogated him, brought him, brought him back, back out, out in the woods, woods and shot, shot all, all eight of them. Um, my, my dad, dad uh, he, he and, and the tail gunner, gunner Joe Schlenker, Schlenker uh, they, were they were picked, picked up by, by Belgium, Belgium uh, patriots, and they, and they were, were hit and both. both. They weren't, they weren't together, together at all. They didn't, they didn't even know each other, other or were near, near each other had, uh, had, uh, had evaded, evaded capture. capture. Um, um, they, they both, both evaded, evaded, and eventually, eventually uh, when the U.S. US troops came, came up, up after uh, D-Day, the liberated area, they made it back in England. What happened, happened to my dad, dad was uh, really, really unique. unique. Um, he was, he was hiding, hiding for a, a long, long time, time, and the people, people who hid my, my dad, dad or any down, down here in that matter were unbelievably brave people. Because there's a German secret police, the Gestapo found out about it. They, they, these these people, people would be arrested, arrested uh, interrogated, interrogated, tortured, tortured be shot, shot sent, sent to concentration camps. camps. And some, and some of the people who helped my dad, dad and his crew didn't meet that fate. fate. So, so they, 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 they were unbelievably great, 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 great people. They, they, they saved, saved my dad's, dad's life. life. My, my dad, dad said they let him sleep in their bed, bed. they'd sleep on the floor. floor. They gave him the majority of the food. Since it was controlled by the Germans, everything was rations of food, supplies, or hard numb by. Uh, but, but it was, it was really, really hard, hard for my, my dad, dad as well. well. Uh, um, you know, after, after all, all his planes, planes attacked, attacked by German, German fighters on, on fire, fire, he has bail bail out, he comes, comes down, down in the country. country. He has no, no idea, idea where he is. is. Um, he doesn't, doesn't know, know what, what happened to the other members of uh, his crew, crew his buddies. buddies. Uh, can't, can't communicate with the U.S. military, military and he's being helped by complete strangers. Initially, they can't speak the same language. He can't speak French, they can't speak English. He has, he has a little, little English, English French uh, dictionary, dictionary that he kind of looked up, up words, words in. And, and any, any one, one of these people could be a collaborator, collaborator and turn them over to the Gestapo. And there were, and there were several, several instances, instances that are in the book. book. He, he was, was all, almost, almost stubborn uh, with the Gestapo and narrowly escaped uh, being caught. caught. And, finally and finally, he got, he got tired of hiding. Word had come that the Allies had landed in Normandy on June 6th. 1944, so he decided, decided to, get to get back, back in the fight. fight. Um, um, unlike, unlike most, most airmen, airmen, he had, he had that, that year's infantry training, training in Washington, Washington before he got into the Air Force. So, so he knew, he how, knew how, to how to fight, fight on, on the ground. ground. And he, he felt, felt it's his duty to get back, back in, the, in, the in the fight. fight. There are other, other men, men you know, fighting, fighting and dying, dying for the country. country. And the, the, the smart, smart thing, thing or the safe, safest, safest thing, thing for him to do would have just stayed, stayed in hiding, hiding just as long down, down until the U.S. Uh, Army, Army came up and liberated that area. area. But, but he decided, decided he wanted to join the French resistance, <laughs> fight the Germans. The Germans. And, and uh, the people that were helping, helping him, him uh, tried, tried to talk him out of this because, because it was way too dangerous. dangerous. He could die, die you know, know, fighting against the Germans, or if they caught him, he'd be considered a terrorist shot right on the spot. But, but he, he insisted, insisted uh, so, so one, one of his Belgian helpers, helpers uh, they, uh, they got, got on bicycles and they bicycled across, across the Belgian border, border into France, France and they met, met up with uh, a group of French, French resistance, they were called the Mackie. Mackie. Uh, the, uh, the Mackie, Mackie were, were independent, independent ragtag rag guerrilla groups, groups located, located all, all across uh, France. There were about 20 in the group my dad joined, led by a French lieutenant who escaped from a prisoner of war camp. 
and they, and they basically, basically their, their job, job was to harass, harass the, the Germans. Germans. Uh, they got, they got their, their instructions, instructions uh, from the British, British and the BBC, BBC for coded coded messages, messages, and they, they would uh, disrupt, disrupt communications, communications, sabotage railroad lines, railroad lines uh, attack, attack German, German convoys, convoys assassinate, assassinate German, German officers, officers and several, several of the encounters, encounters that my Mackie, Mackie group uh, had, had with the Germans, Germans as described uh, in, the in the book. And they, they were supplied, supplied by the, 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 the British, British through the air air drops. So, so that, that, that was... was uh, uh, you know, how, many how many guys, guys would have done, done that? that? I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know if I, I could have done, done that. that. It took, it took a, a, lot a lot of courage, courage a, lot a lot of bravery, bravery <laughs> to, to decide, decide to join the French resistance. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen here, here is, is the book. book. <clears throat> Shot, Shot down. down. Wow. wow. What, a what a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous story. story. You, you can, can get, get this. It, it, it's, it's in hardback, hardback paper paperback, paperback, Kindle, Kindle and, and audio, audio, right, right Steve? Steve? That, that is correct. Okay. okay. You, you can, can get, get this by, by simply going, going to... to... Let, me Let me find, find it, here. it here. Simply, simply going, going to, to Amazon.com. Amazon. Com. Just, just type, type in there, there shot, shot down. down. I'll, I'll guarantee you, you it'll, it'll come, come right, right up. up. Steve, Steve, can they, they get, get it from, from your, your, your website, website also? also? Yeah, uh, yes. yes. If, uh, if uh, somebody, somebody wants an autograph book, book, a personally signed book to them, they, they can go to my website. website. And on, on the home, home page, page, just scroll down, down a little, little bit, bit, and then there's, there's a buy now button. button. You can just, just press, press, and then anyone, anyone can pay via credit, credit card, card or PayPal. PayPal. And then and, uh, uh, you don't, you don't need, need to be a member of PayPal. You just pay by credit card, and I'll sign the book and mail it to them. All right. All right, there, there scrolling, scrolling across, across the bottom, the bottom on the ticker, ticker is Steve Snyder Author dot com. I'm, I'm going to put, put that, 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 that whole, whole shebang, shebang up here, here and <clears> just a second, second by, by push, push the right, right buttons, buttons and don't, don't load, load nothing, nothing up. up. Uh, in, in the book, book maybe, maybe it would be better if I, 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 I share it this way. way. Cause then, then I can see what I'm saying. Or hope to see what I'm saying. Let's get, get this, this up, up there. there. Okay. okay. There, there is the picture, picture of, of the crew. crew. And, and then, then if we scroll, scroll down, down, there, there is, is the book. book. And you, you can, can order, order Shot Down, down today. Amazon, Amazon Barnes, Barnes & Noble, Noble IndieBound, or where, where fine, fine books are sold. sold. Uh, and and tell you to receive a personal autograph. autograph. Hard cover, hard cover book, book. Click, click on, on the buy, buy now button, button which, which is, is right, right there. there. Uh, Steve, Steve the, 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 the thing, thing that intrigued, intrigued me as, as I was going, going through, through this this morning, morning was, was these, these things, things right, right here. here. Letters. 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 Uh, here, here is... is I don't, I don't know, know if I say, say the, the name, name right, right or not. not. George, George E. 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 Or I, I co-pilot it to a friend. Uh, and, and you, you go, go on the website, website you, can, you, can, you, can you can read these letters. These letters. Here, Here is the Western, Western Union, Union that, that arrived. The Secretary, Secretary of War desires to express his deep regret, regret that your husband, husband first, first Lieutenant, Lieutenant Howard J. Snyder, Snyder has, has been reported, reported missing, missing in action since 8 February over France. If further, if further details or other, other information are received, received you, will you will be promptly, promptly notified. notified. And that, that had <clears throat> that had, had to be uh, that, that had, had to be heart wrenching when, when your, your mom, mom received, received that, that telegram. telegram. Oh, oh gosh, gosh. <clears throat> I'll, I'll say. say um, not, not only did, did my mom, mom, mom have, have that one year old, you know, baby. baby uh, Susan, Susan Ruth, Ruth my, my dad's, dad's plane, plane, was named, named after, after but my other, other sister, sister, Nancy, was born when my dad was missing, missing in action. So here my, my mother's, mother's back, back uh, in Pasadena, in California, with a one-year-old one baby girl, girl uh, an infant, infant girl, girl, not, not knowing, knowing if she'd ever see her, her, her husband, husband again. again. Uh, uh, he was shot, shot down, down on February 8th of 1944, and then and she didn't hear anything until my dad got back to England in September. 
Uh, well, my, my dad, dad was, was fighting, fighting with the French, French resistance, resistance uh, one, one day, on September, September 2nd, 2nd when 44 word came, came that there were U.S. US troops, troops in the nearby village, village of Valone, France. France. My, dad my dad walked, walked into, into the village of the, the town square, square went, went up to an army base, they were actually going to come up with a patent army, army to come up, up to France, France at D-Day. And my dad identified himself, and they interrogated him, and made sure he was who he said he was. And then, and then uh, he, he caught, caught uh, a ride on, on a convoy going to Paris, Paris and then got out of his ride on a CC-47 back to England, England. Where, where he sent, sent uh, a telegram, telegram to my mother, mother Western Union telegram, telegram it's in the, the book, book uh, saying, saying that uh, he, he was fit as a fiddle, fiddle and, and the book, book the, the, the money, money, honey, because uh, <laughs> he uh, had, had all that back, back pay uh, uh, coming to him. So that was a huge day and a huge relief to my mother and my dad's, dad's uh, relatives. relatives. And there's, there's, there's lots, lots of excerpts, excerpts from uh, letters, letters of my dad's, my mother, mother other, other members, members and family uh, members, members through. Uh, uh, and the, the book, book really, really makes it uh, personal. 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 Um, after, after they were shot, shot down, down a lot, lot of letters exchanged between uh, the family, family members, uh, mothers, mothers, wives, wives sweethearts, sweethearts, members, members of, of your crew. crew. You know, you know with, with a deep, deep concern about if their loved ones are still alive or not. And, and uh, uh, as I mentioned, uh, excerpts of letters, letters and, and the book were very, very, very moving. And a lot, a lot of the letters, letters were on the uh, website, website, as you uh, pointed out. out. There's, There's some, some letters, letters in, in here, here <coughs> from, from the family, family of one of the men, men that, that were murdered by the German, the German army in, in that forest, forest that was, that was hiding. hiding. Uh, and, and they, they were letting, letting people, people know, know that, that because, because of an investigation that was made, made so on and so forth, forth they, they were letting, letting the other family members <coughs> of some other men know, know exactly, exactly what, what happened. Uh, I, found I found this all fascinating, fascinating uh, that, there that there was, was such, a, such, such a web, web amongst, amongst the people, people back, back here, here in the States. States. Uh, they, they communicated, communicated one, one with another, another about, about their, their loved ones overseas, overseas those who were, were missing, missing, those that uh, had, had been killed, killed in action. action. Going, Going back, back to these, these, uh, these, these resistant, resistant people, people, they were, they were amazing. amazing. Uh, absolutely, absolutely amazing. amazing. That they, they would lay their life down, down risk, risk everything, everything uh, uh, being, being found, found out, out by the Germans, the Germans or the Gestapo, Gestapo. but yet, yet they, they took, took it upon upon themselves, and they, they had quite, quite a network, network set, set up throughout, throughout Europe during, during the Second World, World War. War. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't think, think people can possibly appreciate uh, what, it, what it was like, like uh, uh, whether it's Belgium, Belgium or uh, the Netherlands, Netherlands or, or France, France being, being occupied for years, years uh, by, by German, German oppression. oppression. German, German oc uc uh, occupation and the, and the hardships, hardships they, they went through and the misery, misery they went through. And so, so many people being arrested, arrested sent to labor, labor camps, camps um, uh, 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 being, being executed. executed uh, 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 but still, they, they put, put their, their lives on the line. line. Um, they they helped, helped these airmen, airmen that were trying, trying to, to help liberate their, their country. country. And I've, and been, I've been to Belgium six, six times, times. And, and even, even today, today uh, the people are still, still so thankful and so, so grateful, grateful for the Americans and allies, allies coming, coming to their, their rescue. rescue. Uh, uh, they've, they've erected a number of memorials in the area. area. There's one, one to my dad, dad or the crew, crew of the B-17 Sleuth, a little, little, little village, Mac and Waz, a couple of yards, yards from Wayne down. down. Uh, uh, every year they have ceremonies and anniversary date of the event. That memorial, memorial was erected for, for which are wonderful, wonderful events. events. Uh, and then, then every, every year, year the, the biggest, biggest ceremonies are centered, centered around, around uh, September, September 2nd, 1944, which is the day that the Belgium, Belgium was liberated, liberated with the first U.S. US troops crossed over, over from France, France into Belgium, Belgium to liberate, liberate the country. country. There's, there's, those, those are unbelievable, unbelievable events. I've been, been to them. Uh, Actually, Actually, the first, first time I went, I went to them was 1994, the 50th anniversary, with, with my parents. parents. So that, well, that was, was very, very moving because I got, I got to see all these houses, houses and uh, farms, farms where my dad's dad hidden. 
uh, meet, meet a couple, a couple of those, those uh, they'll, they'll help, help us walk, walk those, those, you know, these, these locations where, where my, my dad's, dad's history, history and his history recruits that took place in the Great Movement. movement. And I've been, been back, back to the 16th anniversary, 17th anniversary, 75th anniversary, last, last, last fall. And the, the celebrations last several, last several days. days. They erect, erect, they erect they huge, huge tents, tents that see hundreds of people. And they, have they have band concerts, and, uh, lunches, lunches, dinners, dinners and, uh, dance, dances. And dances and everyone, everyone has, has a wonderful, wonderful time. And the local, local beer beer Chimay Chimay just flows. flows. <laughs> And, and uh, I had, had a, a, some wonderful, wonderful life, lifelong dear friends. Dear friends uh, uh, all and then, and then they, they had ceremonies that are very, very solemn at various, various memorials uh, there. Uh, there. Uh, this, they, they had four, four ceremonies this last, last year. One, one in Sendron, where the 9th Infantry, infantry first crossed, crossed over, over in the lands in of Belgium, Belgium liberated, liberated the country. Another, another memorial where the first uh, 12 GIs were killed. And the liberation, liberation of Belgium, Belgium on Monsieur and Monsieur Monsieur Monsieur. And then, then a ceremony at the Memorial of Susan Susan Blue, and then also a ceremony, ceremony to the Memorial of April 22nd, 1944, to the men that, that captured, captured the woods, woods and murdered. And murdered. So, so, it, it, uh, unbelievable uh, experiences is going on. Just, just wonderful, wonderful people to this day. I can't, I can't help. <clears throat> I can't help, help but think. think. How, how much, much. And, and probably, probably more, more so, so now, now than, than ever, ever before, before but how, how much, much Americans, Americans take for granted, granted. Uh, the second, second world, world war ended, ended soon, soon to be 75, 75 years just 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 a couple, couple months, months away. away but yet, yet there's, there's so, so many people that live here, here in the homeland, homeland that those, those Knows, knows absolutely, absolutely nothing, nothing about, about the sacrifices of the American, American troops, troops, our, our allies, allies, the resistance, resistance fighters, fighters that, that help these people, people get, get back, back to friendly, friendly lines. lines. Uh, uh, it's, it's so, 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 so sad. sad. Your, Your father, father was, was a, a guest, guest speaker, speaker at, at one, one of these ceremonies, ceremonies wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's kind, kind of a, a funny, funny story. story. Um, one, one day, day in 1988, 1988 uh, my dad got a letter, letter from Dr. Paul Delahaye. Delahaye. And he, he was the founder, founder and president of the Belgian, Belgian American Foundation, which he formed to remember and honor uh, the American, American airmen, airmen that, that, that came, came to fight, fight and die for their, for their liberation. liberation. And he and said, he said that, that they were erecting a memorial to the first 12 GIs that were killed. Uh, in the, the liberation, liberation and invited, invited my, my, my dad, dad and uh, my mother, mother to come to, come to the celebration. celebration. And, and uh, Paul, Paul had gotten uh, information or found out about, about my dad from one of my dad's dad helpers, Millie Till Till Can, Can, the wife, wife of the Belgian, Belgian customs, customs officer, Paul Till Can, Can, who had who came, came and uh, with the band band bicycle, bicycle and uh, helped, helped my dad. dad. Um, um, Kind of aside, aside, Paul, Paul Tilkan, a couple, couple months, months after he helped my dad, dad he, was he was arrested by, by the Germans, Germans tortured, uh, sent, sent to prison, prison. He narrowly escaped, escaped being executed, executed. But, but from the, the torture, torture that he took, took he uh, broke, broke his health, health and he died, died at, uh, in his early, early 50s. 50s. But anyway, anyway um, my, my dad, dad was debating on whether or not to, uh, to go, go to this event, event and uh, uh, before he could make a decision, he received another correspondence from Paul with the, the program, program for the, the event, event and, and, and it, it lists list my dad, dad as the keynote, keynote speaker. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he said, said Ruth, I guess, I guess we have, have to go. go. Uh, uh, and he and, he and my, my mother and uh, Paul, uh, Joe, Joe Mutual, the uh, waste, waste cutter, cutter who was just injured, actually had, had his foot, foot blown off. off. He was one, one of the guys, guys that was repatriated. Uh, back they, they went, went over for the dedication of this memorial in 1988. And then the following year in 1989 is when the memorial to my dad and the crew was erected. And, and for that, that ceremony, uh, my, my dad, dad and uh, the, other the other three crew members, members that were still living at the time, Joe Mutual, Joe Mutual um, uh, Joe Schlenker, Schlenker, and Roy Holbert, Holbert went, over went over to the dedication. dedication. Uh, and that, and that was, was an amazing, amazing event. event. Uh, I have a lot, a lot of pictures and video, video from, from, from that event. event. But, but, uh, uh, 
Yeah, yeah. So he, 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 my, my dad, dad was, was able, able to go, go back. back. He, he stayed, stayed in touch, touch with uh, uh, the people he stayed, he stayed with a long period of time. time. I, 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 he, he stayed, stayed in, in touch with, uh, with uh, and corresponded with, with exchange, exchange Christmas, Christmas cards. cards. And he, he went, went over, over to visit them, them. So, so he got, got to see them, them uh, after, after the war, war uh, as well, well which was uh, wonderful. wonderful. Again, Again, I was, I was so, so fortunate to have so much information because of these people being in contact with my dad, sending him pictures. Uh, uh, all, all the, the research. research. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have, written, have been able to write, write the book without, without the research, research that Dr. Dr. Delahaye did, did, and also, also another gentleman uh, named, named Jock Below. Both, Both Paul, Paul and Jock were young, young boys, boys during, during the war, and they, they went witnessed first first hand hand the atrocities committed against, against their family, family and friends, friends by the, by the Nazis. Nazis. And later, later in life, life they became local, local historians, and they, they interviewed, interviewed all these Belgian people, members of the underground, about events that took place. Involving, involving my dad, dad. True. And they, they documented, documented it at that testimony, testimony. and they, they gave me unbelievably detailed information that's in, in the book, book uh, that would have been lost, lost forever, forever without their, their dedicated, dedicated research. Uh, so, so I, I owe both Paul and Jock a huge debt. debt. Uh, uh, Paul, Paul passed, passed away in 1983, uh, great, great man. man. Uh, his, uh, his children, children know, uh, Crystal, uh, uh, Serene, and Jock. They, they continue, continue uh, the, the foundation, foundation, which has now changed its name, name to Food Teachers to Remember Association, to remember not, not only their heritage, but also all the allies, all the British, British community, and so forth. forth. And they, they keep that, that memory alive. And, and uh, 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 so, so I, I owe, owe them, them uh, uh, a great, great debt, debt uh, for all, all that they've, they've done, done uh, their family, Jock, Paul. Uh, just, just wonderful, 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 wonderful people. Your dad, Your dad like, like so many, many other <coughs> veterans, spoke, spoke very, very little, little about, about the war. war. When, when you, you went, went on that, that trip, trip with, with your, your mom and dad, dad for, the, for first the first time, and you, and you walked, walked some, some of the places, places that he walked, walked and, and saw some, some of the places, places he was hit out, and spoke, and spoke to people, people that, that were actually there, there that, that he was, was friendly, friendly with, with, acquainted, acquainted with. with. Did, 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 did you watch, watch the expressions on, on his face or his, or his body, body language, language uh, when, 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 when all, all this took place, place when, when, he was, when, he when he was back, back there where, where it all happened? happened. Well, well, he had, he had been, been back, back there several, several times before, before my first visit. visit. So, so uh, uh, he, he was, uh, uh, I don't know what, what he used to use. Uh, uh, he wasn't, wasn't a new, new experience for him. He's not, not as, as emotional as, as it would have been, been uh, the, the first, first time he went and spoke to these different people. But, but uh, he, 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 he couldn't, couldn't thank, thank them, them enough. enough. And, and it was, uh, well, that's, that's when it became personal to me when I went back that that, that first, first time, my dad. Like, like you said, said uh, you know, most, most World War II veterans didn't talk, talk much about, about the war. My, my dad, dad didn't until, until you know, I, I went back, back with him and, and then he started, started talking a little about it. And I'm, I'm so, so fortunate to know so much because, because, because I go, I go all, all over the United States, States uh, attending air shows, shows, signing, signing copies, copies of my book, book. I do a lot of presentations, presentations and, and I just meet, you know, you know person, person after, after person. person. Um, who come, come up to me and say, you know, I know so much, much li- li- know so little, little about, about my vet, vet whether it's a father, father or grandfather, grandfather or uncle, or what have you, because, because they didn't talk, talk about it. it. And then when I finally, finally got, got to the age that I realized, oh, no, no this, this is important, then, then it was too late, late to ask them those questions. questions. Uh, that's, that's one, one of the, uh, one of the one best, best things that people tell me about reading my book, is that although, especially if they didn't read the Air Force, their veteran didn't. Talk to them about the war, but by reading, reading my book, book they get, get an appreciation of what, what combat, combat missions were like, like, what life, life was like, like in England, England, what life, life was like in the base, base. and they have, they have a better, better appreciation of what the veterans went through. Um, there, there were 26,000 26, men in the Eighth Air Force, Force who were killed, killed which was more, more than, than the entire Marine, Marine Corps fighting, fighting in the Pacific. Pacific. There, there were another 28,000 men who became prisoners of war after their bombers knocked out of the sky. German, German aircraft, aircraft fire, fire or German, German fighters. fighters. Uh, being, being a combat, combat crewman in the 8th Air, Air Force was the most dangerous, dangerous duty assignment, assignment in the United States, States military in World War II. Uh, you, know, you know, they, they just they knew that, that, that any mission could be their last mission. Uh, 
Uh, they'd, they'd come, come back, back from missions, missions and empty bunks, 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 guys, guys that got killed, killed and then they just kept going, going back, back up. up. But, but uh, uh, so, so my, my, my book is not, not just about my dad. dad. It's, it's just, just not about my dad's, dad's crew that just be dedicated, dedicated to all the men, men who fought, fought in the field of bomb to get my dad was in, in the, the entire, entire eight Air Force. Force. It's really to all, all the men who fought in the women who served during World War II. Um, a lot, a lot of, you know, you know people, people just don't, don't realize, realize how different, different the world was back, back then. then. You know, no, hey, uh, it's, it's a very, very you know, urban, urban society. You know, people, people live, live in cities. And they have, have all, all this instant communication, communication and all, all the social, social media. media. Back, back uh, uh, in the 40s, uh, the U.S. was, was a very, very, very rural uh, country. Most people, people uh, lived, lived out in the country. Lived on farms. These guys who went and fought that war were in their late teens and early 20s. You know, just out of high school or maybe a little bit of college, a lot of these guys hadn't even been out of their county. You know, they hadn't even been a few miles from their home. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, they're halfway around the world fighting a war, you know, in a strange land, uh, never been away from their parents, uh, their mothers before. Um, it, 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 you know, when you think about that, it, 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 it's incredible. And also, in the early years of the war, it was very uncertain whether we were going to, whether the Allies were going to win it. The first, you know, 40, you know, 41, 42, uh, Japan and, and uh, Germany were won in the war. Yeah. It was very uncertain. And if they had of, you know, we would have none of the freedoms that we have today. And the people in Europe or even England who were occupied and England, who, you know, subject to the Blitz. They, they realize that they, you know, if we hadn't won that war, they'd either be speaking German or Russian. Um, people in the U.S. had just had no comprehension for that, uh, especially the younger generations, because, as you said, it's been 75 years, you know, the memory is fading. And that's why I do what I do to try to keep the memory alive and to educate uh, uh, the public about the importance of what took place and never to forget. I think the key to it is the key phrase. You just said it. These fellows came from all across America, from the farms, from the factories, from here, from there, from everywhere. The fact is they went, period. Bottom line, they went. And they they volunteered. I mean, they couldn't wait to, to, to defend their country and help their country. Yes. And also, all the people back home, you know, who supported it was a huge effort to, you know, build all these planes and tanks and ammunition and food and supplies. And everyone had to ration, you know, and save tin and aluminum and rubber to help, you know, provide for the, for the war effort, have the, their little gardens, their victory gardens. Um, it, it uh, Unless you, you know, read about this or go to museums, which is the World War II Museum in uh, New Orleans or the Mighty Eighth Museum in Savannah, uh, you have no, it's just hard to have an appreciation for what the country and these men and the sacrifice that they gave went through. And then, you know, another reason, you know, the guys didn't talk about is that they just, hey, it was our duty yeah. to go. It was no question. And it was a job. We had a job to do. We went over there. We, we did our job. We came back home, and we went on with their lives. We, we weren't heroes. We just did what we had to do. Yes. You know, I don't know if today's generations could do that. <laughs> no. Uh, my dad used to say the same thing. <clears throat> he was in the Second World War, and he'd hold up his hands, and he'd say, I didn't do nothing spectacular. I went. So they went, they did, they come home and carried on. Yeah. Uh, but what a tremendous, tremendous, and the whole country rallied behind the troops. Uh, what was a Japanese admiral or a Japanese general said after the bombing of Pearl Harbor, I'm afraid that we have woken a sleeping giant. Uh, he got that uh-oh feeling pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. 
when he realized uh, <clears throat> maybe maybe this wasn't such a good idea, and he was one of the planners of the whole of the whole surprise attack. Yeah. Uh, uh, my how we live in a different age. <clears throat> Before I let you go, Steve, and I'll put this book back up here on the websites and all that. Is there any idea or any estimates of how many uh, ground troops, airmen, uh, military personnel that these resistance fighters helped get out of occupied places where the German armies were? Well, that's hard to determine. It's uh, in, in Europe. Um, the Nazis occupied a number of, of, of countries. Uh, it's somewhere between three and 4,000 men who evaded capture. Um, well, evaded. Um, there's different types of evasion, you know, escape and, and, and evasion. Because uh, there were men who were shot down and came down in friendly territory, you know, after D-Day where the Allies had moved in and taken over France. Um, so it's a difference between shot down in friendly territory or shot down in uh, occupied territory. We d definitely didn't want to be shot down over uh, Germany because a lot of the villagers would, would kill the, uh, the airmen for bombing their homes and, and killing their family members. Uh, there's a number of instances in, uh, recorded of that where men were hung, shot, you know, killed by pitchforks by the, the civilians uh, because of uh, their anger about the, the Allies bombing their their homeland. But it was somewhere between three and four thousand that uh, evaded. But very few, I think, like like were like my dad that actually were hiding and then joined the French resistance. Most guys that evaded were able to get out through those escape routes down through France uh, and out through uh, Gibraltar and then back to the U.S. Wow. What a tremendous, tremendous. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to get this book. I mean, you, you, you just have to get it. If you get the hardcover, <clears throat> there's over 200 pictures in there. Or you can get the audio form. The Kindle form was a soft cover, uh, but do yourself a favor and get this, get this. Perhaps you know nothing about the Second World War, the sacrifices of men and women, both, both the American sacrifices and our allies and the resistance fighters. Uh, this will give you a great opportunity to, to get an education, learn about this. We, we need to, appreciate this so very 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 much and you can get this book by just going to amazon.com shot down the true story of pilot howard snyder and the crew of the b-17 susan ruth get it get it in one of those forms it'll come at you uh six different ways from last sunday you gotta like one of them so uh <laughs> Uh, get get on there and get them things and get the book and then pass it on and tell tell other people please tell other people it, it it it's so vital it's so vital that this story gets told not only of Steve's father and and his crew members but the story the whole encounter of the second world war my how we need to know what happened the good the bad and the ugly it's our history it's our country so we need to know the good the bad and the ugly what a tremendous tremendous story let me put this steve's website up here one more time as it scrolls across the bottom steve snyder author.com go there it's intriguing you can buy the book get an autographed copy right there uh, Barnes and Noble, Amazon, uh, anywhere books are sold. Wow, shot down. Steve, I could sit here and talk to you. Uh, my goodness, it just just uh, it's it's been a delight, my friend. 
an hour has passed by, and my goodness gracious, but one question leads to more questions. Hey, listen, uh, did did I see on your on, on your schedule that you're going to be in uh, Hummelstown, Pennsylvania, somewhere in the early part of June? Uh, well, I'm 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 going to be in Reading, Pennsylvania. Reading, Pennsylvania. Well, well I'm also going to be in uh, Hummelstown too. I'm making a PowerPoint presentation uh, to the World War II uh, Central Pennsylvania World War II Roundtable. I am originally from Altoona. Now I've I've lived down here for thirty five years, but I'm originally from Altoona, Pennsylvania. So I'm familiar with where Hummelstown is, and it's up the road a piece. But uh, if if you would be so kind, if your memory could uh, do you service, would you please email me or let me know somehow, some way, call me, whatever it might be, about that event? in the early part of June, because I would like to come there and I would like to personally meet you, sir. Oh, sure. Yeah. Every year I go to world war, war world war two weekend in Reading, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's the first weekend every year in June, which, uh, which is a fantastic event. Uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, there's it's an air show with all these world war two uh, planes, war birds, and they have, about 3,000 reenactors there, and uh, it, it's spectacular. And then uh, I made arrangements prior to, uh, I think it's the Thursday prior to that, the first Thursday in June is when I'm making the presentation at the uh, Central Pennsylvania World War II Roundtable. Oh, that's so, fantastic. Yeah, it's in the evening. Yes, so please, and it's going to be held at a church, isn't it? Or, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, please get a hold on me and and remind me of that i'll I'll write it down the schedule ladies and gentlemen where steve's going to be is on that website uh so you can see he he stretched out i mean he's 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 booked up six ways from last week so uh if he's in and around your area go meet the man go meet the man and get the book get the book uh if he's doing a book signing thing right there it is autograph copy get the get the book get the book i i just I want to. I want to just really press it on you. Please get the book, Steve. You got to come back again sometime soon. It was my pleasure, George. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I I enjoyed being on. Uh, I love to to talk about this. Uh, it's my passion, and uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, it's really a full time job. That uh, uh, my little tagline or motto is: our, "It's our duty to remember." Yes, and yes. Uh, that's what what I do every single day is try to get people uh, to remember. At the end of World War II, there were 16 million World War II veterans, and today less than 3% of those men are still with us. There's no other event in history that affected more people than World War II. It changed the world. Isn't that the truth? Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends, Romans, and countrymen, whether you're down the street, around the corner, across America, or somewhere around this great big world, thank you. Thank you so very, very much for tuning into the George Espin Love Show this afternoon. Now, do me a favor. Remember, when we sign off the live, start those watch parties. Get those watch parties out into your news feed where you can reach people that we're not able to push this thing out far and wide. Tell everybody, tell friend, family, and foes that this was something that you need to see and then come back and watch it again. Start to watch parties, share the posts, the whole nine yards. Uh, we'll make this a huge success. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, George. God bless you. And remind me uh, when you're going to be in Hummelstown. And uh, like the man said, good Lord willing, the cricks don't rise. Well, he said creeks. I call them cricks. Uh, but the water don't come up too high. We'll be there. Thank you, my friend. Amen. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, this is me and all my friends here at the Pony Farm saying you have a great day. If it's nighttime where you're at, 
Have a very pleasant evening. If it's daytime, have a wonderful, wonderful day. But regardless of where you are and what time it is, be kind one to another. Pat somebody on the back, smile at them, and listen, don't ever be afraid to say, I love you. You could possibly save somebody's life and let them know that you really, really care. Until then, my prayer is that God keeps you right in the center of his hand. Amen. I'll see you next time. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Jim. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was shot down. I hope that you will go get that book, Amazon.com. Just type in the search box, shot down, and it'll jump right up at you. And you can get it in any one of those forms, hardback, paperback, Kindle, or the audio portion. I listen to the audio portion. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Right from the get-go, it was fantastic. If you would like to see that show that we put on with Steve Snyder entitled Shot Down, just go to the George Espinlob show on Facebook, and there you can see all of the past shows that we have done since October. Uh, click on that and watch it. It is an intriguing story. And so are the other uh, shows that we put on there. And speaking of that, tomorrow morning, Wednesday morning, April 1st, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, we will have as our guest a young lady by the name of Sheik Lacey who has written a book. She is going to tell us another tremendous story, a true story, how she ended up writing the book, how it's affected her, and the fact is that she has started her own publishing company. So tune in tomorrow morning. We will be live streaming into Facebook on the George Espinlob Show, and we will be live streaming into YouTube simultaneously. So that's tomorrow morning. Join me. We'll put more stuff up on the on the show page tomorrow morning, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time when Sheik Lacey will be with us with a tremendous story. She's out of Columbus, Ohio. I know that she will, will inspire you, a young lady that is reaching out and fulfilling her dreams. Wow. I want to thank you for tuning in tonight. Wonderful. Thank you. Uh, email me, georgece at comcast.net. That's georgece at comcast.net. Let me know where you are listening from. And let me know how things are going with you during this crisis period that we are facing. I talked to my friend <coughs> Harry Burke over there in Ireland. He is going through the same thing that we are going through here in the States, uh, other people in Canada, so on and so forth. My prayer is that we all hang in there. We're going to get through this. Believe me, we're going to get through this. We're going to come out on the other side. We're going to climb the mountain again, and we're going to reach for the sunshine. I know we will, and I know that we're going to. So, let me know how you're doing, George CE at Comcast.net, George CE at Comcast.net. Listen to the other shows that we put on here on our network, uh, Unshackled, Claudio Rosano's show, Neil Haley's show, uh, it, it go Afterglow, and, and it goes on and on and on and on. So uh, when you see them pop up, go on in and take a listen. Remember, you can download them. As many as you want, you can go back and listen to all of those previous shows that we've done. We've had some wonderful, wonderful shows. You go back and listen to them, and you can download any one or some of them, or all of them, as far as that goes. 
and distribute them. You can hear us on uh, iTunes Podcast, uh, Google Play, uh, YouTube, Spotify, iHeartRadio. If you go to the espenblog.com, you can listen to the most previous show right there while you're reading through the blog. I would encourage you to do that. But tune in tomorrow morning, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. When Sheik Lacey is with us, it'll be a delightful time. So, whether you're down the street, around the corner, across America, or somewhere around this great big world, thank you. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Thank you for all of your support. Thank you for your kind words. It means a lot to us. So, wherever you're at, regardless of what time it is, if it's nighttime, you have a great night. If it's daytime, you have a very pleasant day. And in the meantime, don't be afraid to reach out and tell people, be kind to them, love them. People need support right now, and don't ever be afraid to tell someone that you love them. Remember, you could possibly save a life. For me and all the gang here at the Funny Farm, I thank you for tuning in. We appreciate everything that you've done for us. We're going to build this network even bigger than it is with your help and with your support. And so until next time, I pray that God will keep you right in the center of his hand. And until then, good night, everybody.